Well, I want to bless the name of the living God and to give Him thanks. Well, beloved, we all know that it's a grace for us to be alive today. In these days, we cannot take it for granted. We want to thank God for that wonderful grace. Today, I want to talk to you about the coming elections. We've been praying for the past two weeks now, every prayer meeting, focusing and targeting the upcoming elections because we understand that what happened in November will affect the entire world and the life, the way we know it, we may never get it back. So we are, we are aware of the fact that there is so much at stake. There is so much into those elections we cannot afford to take it for granted. The very point I want to talk to you about is the necessity to keep your heart at peace. I've been talking about all the challenges that uh, we will face in this coming election, talking about the, the possibility to lose our freedom, the possibility to have mandatory vaccine, the possibility to um, to get into the life where as a church we live we, we lose the freedom that we have and that we enjoy right now but the goal of all this is not to scare you is just to raise the awareness so that you align your faith to the actual challenges. I plead with you the joy of the Lord must stay with you. You see, the joy of the Lord shall be your strength. You, see, you can have a burden, but at all time, at all time, we must keep the joy of the Lord in our hearts. Because at the end of the day, all things work together for them that loves God. All things, not few things, but all things. All things. Since this morning, I have been experiencing... Um, a level of joy and uh, satisfaction in my spirit that I have not been experienced for the past two weeks. I've been grieving. I was crushed down in my spirit. Uh, my heart was heavy when I was thinking about the future of the world and the uh, coming elections. But for some reason, after Monday, things just shift shifted drastically and for some reason i feel the joy of the spirit in me and as i'm meditating upon it i realize that is giving me even more strength more courage to pray as i ought to for the coming elections well beloved i just want to encourage you to labor with me let us join together let us come together let us put aside our personal challenges our personal ambitions and everything we need we used to do for ourselves but the next two months just carrying and burping the will of god for the upcoming elections i want you to be a part of what the lord is doing on the earth you know jesus always win at the end of the day but it takes the participation of the church so if we don't understand and if you don't realize that without us the will of god doesn't happen 
This is very strong. Without us, the church, the perfect will of God doesn't happen in the world. We have to feel privileged to be laborers with God, with the Holy Spirit, to bring forth the will of God in the world. And now, personally, uh, this is how I feel. If you are not, if you don't take position now when it comes to the real challenges of the world, are you for globalism? Are you for the one world government or against it? Are you for the mandatory vaccine or against it? If you don't have a position now as a leader, you are not qualified. I feel like I cannot feel qualified to say anything if I don't have a biblical position when it comes to mandatory vaccine, the globalization, the one world government, and the upcoming, upcoming elections. We must understand and take position because we have accounts to give. To our master that's the reason why I am not and I will not be politically correct when it comes to the upcoming elections it's beyond political parties it's beyond Democrat Republicans beyond Trump and Biden it's two major ideology that are confronting each other freedom against control nationalism against globalism you need to choose your side you cannot i cannot be politically correct god bless you richly i expect to see you at the next prayer meeting and um, we will pray as we know to and ask by the grace of God to keep us in prayer. Bye-bye.